On this episode of China Uncensored, Mao's Crystal Mausoleum. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Mao Zedong is responsible for the deaths of tens of millions of Chinese people. He led the country on disastrous campaigns of death and destruction, like the Great Leap Forward and the Cultural Revolution. But you can't find out about any of that in China, so he's worshipped as a hero. And what do you do with your heroes? Mummify them. I sure hope they do the same for my hero, Jackie Chan. There's a very well-known place in China called Tiananmen Square. We all know why it's so famous. Because that's where Mao's mausoleum is. <clears throat> so there used to be this dumb 600-year-old gate at Tiananmen Square, but the communists tore it down in 1954, and when Mao died in 1976, they thought it would be a great place to put his tomb. Under the watchful eye of dozens of heavily armed army personnel, people from all around China come to pay their respects to the great helmsman. The mausoleum opens at 8 in the morning and closes at 4, but so many people come to see the mummified Mao, they have to cut the line off at 12, or else the people at the end of the line wouldn't make it before closing time. Think about how many people that is. I mean, Mao was able to get people from around the country to line up to see his mangoes, so this guy had a pretty strong personality cult going. That isn't a joke. He was actually able to get people to come from miles to see mangoes. One guy was executed when he said they looked like sweet potatoes. Now, giving the Chinese leader slash sex-addicted psychopath the proper mummification wasn't easy. The Soviets pioneered this embalming process with their mummification of Lenin, but in the late 70s, China and the USSR weren't exactly on speaking terms. So China had to get it from Vietnam. But it was the crystal coffin that would preserve and display Mao that was the real problem. No one but the Soviets knew how to make it, so China had to figure it out on their own. First, there was talk of just taking the crystal coffin the Soviets had made for Sun Yat-sen, the highly respected father of modern China, chucking his body and putting Mao in there. But Mao was, uh, too tall. In the end, there was a nationwide competition to see who could build the best crystal coffin. Two dozen were submitted, and in the end, the one that won could withstand an 8.0 magnitude earthquake. I mean, this is a coffin for China's greatest leader we're talking about, after all, not some school in Sichuan. It needs to be able to withstand an earthquake. And after spending the better part of the day lining up to see Mao, be sure to swing by the gift shop and get your very own Mao crystal coffin set. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.